Hi, my name is Julianne Koss and I have a quick tip for you today for those of you who want to do some painting. So I'm not that good at painting by hand, but there used to be a plugin, an optional plugin that you could download from labs.adobe.com called Pixel Bender. And Pixel Bender had this fabulous filter called the oil paint filter. Well, in Photoshop CS6, it comes installed by default underneath the filter menu. So let's come down to oil paint. And you'll notice that there are a variety of different options. I just want to zoom in a little bit here to make sure that we can see what's going on in the image. The stylization slider on the left side will give you shorter strokes. When you move it to the right, it will give you longer strokes. The cleanliness slider gives you kind of more detail and more texture when the slider's at the left, and it'll be a little bit looser and there'll be less texture to the right. The scale slider is the size of the brush stroke itself, so you can get a larger or a smaller brush stroke. And the bristle detail will add more or less detail to your image. In the lighting area, you can choose the angular direction, and if you increase the shine significantly, it's easier to see this actual direction as you move the slider around. So all you need to do is manipulate these settings right here, and when you get the look or the effect that you like, click OK, and you now have a painting. If we zoom in, we can see a little before and after. That was before the true photograph with all of its detail, and that's the after. Even if you don't like the painting as is, and this is really the tip, this is an excellent underpainting, so you could use this to turn the whole photograph into a stylistic painting and then go in on another layer and actually create your own paint strokes to kind of emphasize the areas of the image that are important to you. Thanks for watching. I'm Julianne Cost.